that an AP? Yeah, it's a skeleton AP actually. How much? 250,000. 250,000. How about a Dior's? These, like 1,200. The shoes? Probably around 1,500. 1,500 Louis Vuitton shoes? Damn. Now Tell me the story about this Bravis right here. So this Bravis, uh, you know, I personally just wanted a G-Wagon, but when I rode in the regular G-Wagon, I was like, that's more for like my mom, my girl, but this is a big body tank. I just wanted something Damn. to ride with every day. Okay. That black dad is just, it's everything. Thing. What year? Uh, 2021. 2021, how much? Uh, when I bought it, it was like 440,000. Dude, this crib tour, man, I'm excited. $12 million? Welcome in. Ooh, this is nice. This one right oh here. Oh my goodness. Two Richard Mills. This is an RM1103. What the? This is about 400,000 right here. 400,000 on the wrist. Yeah. This one's 400,000 as well? Yeah. Damn. This is a Bubba Watson Asian edition, about 400,000 as well. Sheesh. But can you show us an account? <laughs> I have something better. So I have multiple businesses. Okay. I'll show you how much one of my businesses made. Let's see that. Let's check Let's that check. out. Press Stripe. It's okay. a processor machine. Obviously, I have to run multiple processors. Okay. You can see 3.7 million just off of one business. Wow. On okay. one processor. Yeah, 안녕하세요. 영상 속의 남자는 중학생 때부터 트레이딩을 시작해 현재 23살의 나이에 수백억의 자산을 일궈낸 미국의 트레이더 누르아타입니다. 유튜브를 통해 트레이딩을 독학해 현재는 라이브 트레이딩을 하는 전업 트레이더이자 사업가입니다. 매매 초보자부터 고급자까지 이르기까지 모든 수준의 트레이딩 스킬을 지원하고 제가 개인적으로도 굉장히 좋아하는 트레이더 중한 명인데요. 오늘은 월스트리트 인턴으로 시작해 백만장자에 오른 그가 어떻게 성공할 수 있었는지 그의 트레이딩 철학과 성장 과정에 대해 알아보도록 하겠습니다. Pretty sure everybody wants to know and they're curious. What's your name? How old are you? What do you do? So uh, my name is Noor. I'm 23. I was the youngest kid on Wall Street. Mm. But before all that, uh, you know, I grew up on food stamps and I lived in the projects. You know, after all that, now I own a $12 million house. Out 12 here. mil? Yeah. Now I make three to five million dollars a year. Day in the life for you. Average day in the life. I wake up every day at 530 in the morning, read, do some yoga possibly, and okay. then I'll start work 30 in the morning. And then from there, I'll probably finish work within like an hour or two into the market. Mm. And then I'll get some technical stuff done on the computer, you know, editing a few things, managing my other businesses, because I have actually two other businesses out mm. in LA. You probably heard of uh, 412 Motorsport, maybe. That's another business of yours. Yeah, okay. yeah. And, uh, you know, rental business out in LA as well. We Exotic own, car. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. We have like 34 cars in the fleet that's sick yeah okay, everything from a kia to you know escalade to a lamborghini we have all of that that's dope okay and yeah. what was your other business uh 412 motorsport we basically you know come in we 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 deal with exotic cars you know we uh work on them fix them tune them mm. everything with the rental company it's called i exotics and then with the other business it all depends on the type of month like during covid we were pumping out cars like it didn't even make sense, you know what I mean? During COVID, everybody had an exotic car. But on an average month, probably around 50. 50? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then with the with the trading, that's that's where the big money comes in, right? Yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, that's what helps me fund my other businesses, how I get mm. to start my other businesses. Okay. How did you even get started with the trading in general? Because is that the first thing you started with? Kind so when I was 16, I actually you just met my friend that actually brought me to Wall Street. So, mm. uh, you know, his brother worked in the firm. And then one year we were like, yo, we, we want to learn this. And we kind of just decided it was like four of us. We decided we wanted to intern in the summer. Yeah. Uh, ended up being a paid internship. We didn't know it was going to be paid. We were going to do it even if we were not getting any money out of it. And, and how old were you at this time? 16. 16. Yeah. And we ended up doing it together as a team. And, you know, three months passed by and we had to go back to school. We were still in high school. Yeah. So I took it to my own hands and ended up starting to learn it at home and end up you know, trading at home. Mm -hmm. And that's where I went from the internship to, you know, fully me. Describe that first big moment where you're like, damn, I can make a lot of money doing this. I believe the first day I was like, wow, was the first day I made like a thousand dollars in a day. Mm. Every single day I was texting my mom and dad when I would make 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 20. I still got the screenshots, it's crazy. Yeah, what age were you when you made that thousand dollars? I was still like, oh, I was 16. Really? Yeah. Okay. I know you kind of talked about in the beginning of this video, that you were in food stamps? Um, my mom hates when I talk about this, but... It's all good, she, yeah. She wants, you know what I mean? I tell my mom, like, people want to relate to this, and that's why it's good for me to put that message out. Absolutely. My mom never gave me a reason to not, you know, be thankful for everything. She always made sure I had a 
I had Jordans on my feet or, or make sure that I had some clothes to go to school with. So I wasn't missing anything growing up. But yeah, I grew up on food stamps. I grew up in the projects, mm. Jersey City in New Jersey. And I was probably, since I was a baby to like, maybe like 12 years old. And then, you know, my parents are immigrants. So they started developing more in life, ended up making their own business. And then we ended up buying a house uh, when I was like 16 years old. What is the plan for you? Like, what's the five year plan? What's the 10 year plan? How you want your life to go? Is there still more for you to build? More for you to grow, you know, level up? You're only 23, you're young. Yeah. You got a lot of money, right? So what's, what's, the, what's the five year plan? What's the 10 year plan? Honestly, it's just continue to build, you know, wealth and helping, you know, other people. Like my biggest, biggest goal is to build as many schools as possible in Africa because mm. I'm from Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like my biggest goal. And honestly, I can't wait till I get to that point where, you know, the only thing I'm posting is me opening up schools, doing community things. And, you know, honestly, in the meantime, I'm just building my real, real estate portfolio. I'm buying like one house a month now. Oh, really? Yeah. How many houses do you have? Right now, I have 13. Damn. Yeah. Okay. How much are all those houses valued? Right now, the portfolio value is about 23 million. 23. Yeah. This guy's a smart man. Smart kid. Yeah. Yeah. 23. You got the real estate portfolio already, 23 mil. Yeah. You got your own house. I mean, this is part of it, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you know, someone that wants to get into trading, right? Let's just say somebody younger, younger audience, somebody watching right now wants to get into trading. What are some of like your tips? Like just a like, quick practical tips on how to be a better trader. Honestly, I feel like the biggest mistake for people when they come into, you know, the industry or even with mostly anything nowadays, they want to make as much money as fast as possible. Yeah. Skip all the education parts, skip all, you know, the researching. When you come into trading it's the same way. You can't just come in thinking you're going to make that type of money just watching someone on YouTube, right? Yeah. And that's the problem. So People come in, they blow their accounts. That's true. And when I started, it was like rocket science because there wasn't much on the internet, right? So nowadays you have Google, you have YouTube, thousands of YouTubers making thousands of option videos every single day. Focus on the education part and don't use your real money until you feel comfortable. What are three steps that you can give the people of how to reach your type of level of success? I would say the first step is actually just starting to plan your day. Really just, you know, executing based on your plans. All right, at 9 a.m. I'm gonna wake up, work out, do this. Like 12 o'clock, I'm gonna go out and, you know, network with other people. 3 p.m. I'm gonna do this. So planning your day, I feel like is more important because you can actually check things off your day. I love and that. as you check things off, all right, I accomplished this and I accomplished this. Until this day, I still do those things. That's beautiful, yeah. Uh, this do, you, do you plan your days before? The, the day before or the day of? I do the night before. I like that. The second thing I would say is something that you're passionate about or, or actually want to do in life, maybe a career path. I would basically focus on distractions aside, one hour a day, focusing on that particular skill or career path. Whether that means going on a computer and educating yourself or even reading a book, one hour a day minimum. It doesn't even need to be that long, right? Just an hour of you, zero distractions, focusing on how to be a better you know, cameraman, mm -hmm. you know, a better, whatever it is, whatever just can, being yeah. better. Yeah. And then the third thing is actually executing. We can mm. talk all day. I can tell you this is what I want to do. I can tell you what I want to be in five years, but at the end of the day, it just comes from executing. Yeah. And people don't understand where they're at in life currently is from decisions that they made years ago. And not even true. if you made it, for example, you're a YouTuber, right? Yeah. You start getting lazy now, you might not see your viewers go down or your subscribers go down. But it's the same thing as being successful where you are right now happened three years ago from what you were doing. Absolutely. So if you start getting lazy now, you might not see it now, but you'll see it in a year or two down the road. Yeah. So it works both ways. You just have to go out there and execute on a you know everyday basis. You, you tell me I sign your name. But baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah. Why you gotta be so naive? If I treat you like one I don't want, then you know I'm just so hard to please. Lie to your face, they get what I want, babe Some 